everyone and welcome back to the AMAC and I hope you all are having a wonderful week and picking back up on Sunday I did want to do another resurrection reading it is Wednesday April the 21st and I feel that we can uh, celebrate the resurrection year round and the title on this one is his cross of peace a certain man from Cyrene was passing by and they forced him to carry the cross mark 15 21 Somber eyes peer out from the painting Simone of Cyrene by contemporary Dutch artist Egbert Modern Man. Simon's eyes reveal the immense physical and emotional burden of his responsibility. In the biblical account, from Mark 15, we learn that Simon was pulled from the watching crowd and forced to carry Jesus' cross. Mark tells us that Simon was from Cyrene, a big city in North Africa with a large population of Jews during Jesus' time. Most likely, Simon had journeyed to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. There, he found himself in the middle of this unjust execution, but was able to perform a small but meaningful act of assistance to Jesus. Mark 15:21. Earlier in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus tells his followers, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. 8.34 On the road to Golgotha, Simon literally did what Jesus figuratively asked his disciples to do. He took up the cross given to him and carried it for Jesus' sake. We too have crosses to bear. Perhaps an illness, a challenging ministry assignment, the loss of a loved one, or persecution for our faith. As we carry these sufferings by faith, we point people to the sufferings of Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross. It was his cross that gave us peace with God and strength for our own journey. Lisa M. Samra, what cross have you been asked? to carry. How can you use the struggle to point others to Jesus? Jesus, thank you that you understand and sympathize with the pain I experience as I take up my cross and follow you. Give me courage and strength even when the journey is difficult. So, I do hope you enjoyed part two of the resurrection reading, and stay tuned. We are going to try and have our other weekly devotional reading as well. So, and until we all meet again, may God bless you and God keep you.